In particle physics, a count, also called a k meson and denoted k, is any of a group of four mesons distinguished by a quantum number called strangeness. In the quark model they are understood to be bound states of a strange quark or antiquark and an up or down antiquark or quark. Kaons have proved to be a copious source of information on the nature of fundamental interactions since their discovery in cosmic rays in 1947. They were essential in establishing the foundations of the standard model of particle physics, such as the quark model of hadrons and the theory of quark mixing the latter was acknowledged by a Nobel Prize in Physics in 2008. Kaons have played a distinguished role in our understanding of fundamental conservation laws, CP violation, a phenomenon generating the observed matter-antimatter asymmetry of the universe, was discovered in the Kaon system in 1964 which was acknowledged by a Nobel Prize in 1980. Moreover, direct CP violation was discovered in the Kaon decays in the early 2000s by the NA48 experiment at CERN and the KTEV experiment at Fermilab. Basic properties The four kaons are K minus negatively charged containing a strange quark and an up antiquark has mass 493.677 plus or minus 0.013 MeV and mean lifetime 1.2380 plus or minus 0.0020 times 10 minus 8 s K plus antiparticle of above positively charged containing an up quark and a strange antiquark must by CPT invariance have mass and lifetime equal to that of K minus experimentally the mass difference is 0.032 plus or minus 0.090 MeV consistent with zero the difference in lifetimes is 0.11 plus or minus 0.09 times 10 minus 8 s also consistent with zero K0 neutrally charged containing a down quark and a strange antiquark has mass 497.648 plus or minus 0.022 MeV it has mean squared charge radius of minus 0.076 plus or minus 0.01 fm2 K0 neutrally charged antiparticle of above containing a strange quark and a down antiquark has the same mass as the quark model shows assignments that the kaons form two doublets of isospin that is they belong to the fundamental representation of su called the two one doublet of strangeness plus one contains the k plus and the k0 the antiparticles form the other doublet of strangeness minus 1 a caret strong eigenstate no definite lifetime see count notes below b caret weak eigenstate makeup is missing small cp violating term see notes on neutral kaons below c caret the mass of the kol and kos are given as that of the k0 however it is known that a difference between the masses of the kol and kos on the order of 3.5 times 10 minus 12 mev c2 exists although the k0 and its antiparticle k0 are usually produced via the strong force they decay weakly thus once created the two are better thought of as superpositions of two weak eigenstates which have vastly different lifetimes the long-lived neutral count is called the kl k long decays primarily into 3 pions and has a mean lifetime of 5.18 times 10 s the short lived neutral count is called the k's k short decays primarily into 2 pions and has a mean lifetime 8.958 times 10 s see discussion of neutral count mixing below an experimental observation made in 1964 that K longs rarely decay into two pions was the discovery of CP violation. See below. Main decay modes for K plus. Decay modes for the K minus are charge conjugates of the ones above. Topic: <laughs> Strangeness. The discovery of hadrons with the internal quantum number strangeness marks the beginning of a most exciting epoch in particle physics that even now 50 years later has not yet found its conclusion by and large experiments have driven the development and that major discoveries came unexpectedly or even against expectations expressed by theorists 
I. I. Baigai and A. I. Sonda, CP Violation, ISBN 0-521-44349-0 in 1947, G. D. Rochester and Clifford Charles Butler of the University of Manchester published two cloud chamber photographs of cosmic ray induced events, one showing what appeared to be a neutral particle decaying into two charged pions, and one which appeared to be a charged particle decaying into a charged pion and something neutral. The estimated mass of the new particles was very rough, about half a proton's mass. More examples of these V particles were slow in coming. The first breakthrough was obtained at Caltech, where a cloud chamber was taken up Mount Wilson, for greater cosmic ray exposure. In 1950, 30 charged and 4 neutral V particles were reported. Inspired by this, numerous mountaintop observations were made over the next several years, and by 1953, the following terminology was adopted. L meson meant muon or pion. K meson meant a particle intermediate in mass between the pion and nucleon. Hyperon meant any particle heavier than a nucleon. The decays were extremely slow, typical lifetimes are of the order of 10s. However, production in pion proton reactions proceeds much faster, with a time scale of 10s. The problem of this mismatch was solved by Abraham Pays, who postulated the new quantum number called strangeness, which is conserved in strong interactions but violated by the weak interactions. Strange particles appear copiously due to «associated production» of a strange and an antistrange particle together. It was soon shown that this could not be a multiplicative quantum number, because that would allow reactions which were never seen in the new synchrotrons which were commissioned in Brookhaven National Laboratory in 1953 and in the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory in 1955. <laughs> Two different decays were found for charged strange mesons. The intrinsic parity of a pion is p equals minus one, and parity is a multiplicative quantum number. Therefore, the two final states have different parity p equals plus one and p equals minus one, respectively. It was thought that the initial states should also have different parities, and hence be two distinct particles. However, with increasingly precise measurements, no difference was found between the masses and lifetimes of each, respectively, indicating that they are the same particle. This was known as the tau theta puzzle. It was resolved only by the discovery of parity violation in weak interactions. Since the mesons decay through weak interactions, parity is not conserved, and the two decays are actually decays of the same particle, now called the K+. CP violation in neutral meson oscillations Initially it was thought that although parity was violated, CP charge parity symmetry was conserved. In order to understand the discovery of CP violation, it is necessary to understand the mixing of neutral kaons. This phenomenon does not require CP violation, but it is the context in which CP violation was first observed. Equals. Topic neutral count mixing equals Since neutral kaons carry strangeness, they cannot be their own antiparticles. There must be then two different neutral kaons, differing by two units of strangeness. The question was then how to establish the presence of these two mesons. The solution used a phenomenon called neutral particle oscillations, by which these two kinds of mesons can turn from one into another through the weak interactions, which cause them to decay into pions see the adjacent figure. These oscillations were first investigated by Murray Gell-Mann and Abraham Pays together. They considered the CP invariant time evolution of states with opposite strangeness. In matrix notation one can write psi t equals u t psi 0 equals e i h t a b h equals m delta delta m display style psi t equals u t psi 0 equals erm e caret i h t begin p matrix a b end p matrix q quad h equals begin p matrix m and delta delta and m end p matrix where psi is a quantum state of the system specified by the amplitudes of being in each of the two basis states which are a and b at time t equals zero. The diagonal elements of the Hamiltonian are due to strong interaction physics which conserves strangeness. 
The two diagonal elements must be equal, since the particle and antiparticle have equal masses in the absence of the weak interactions. The off-diagonal elements, which mix opposite strangeness particles, are due to weak interactions. CP symmetry requires them to be real. The consequence of the matrix H being real is that the probabilities of the two states will forever oscillate back and forth. However, if any part of the matrix were imaginary, as is forbidden by CP symmetry, then part of the combination will diminish over time. The diminishing part can be either one component a or the other b, or a mixture of the two. <laughs> Mixing The eigenstates are obtained by diagonalizing this matrix. This gives new eigenvectors, which we can call K1 which is the sum of the two states of opposite strangeness, and K2, which is the difference. The two are eigenstates of Cp with opposite eigenvalues, K1 has Cp. <laughs> plus 1, and K2 has Cp Minus 1 since the 2 pion final state also has Cp equals plus 1, only the K1 can decay this way. The K2 must decay into 3 pions. Since the mass of K2 is just a little larger than the sum of the masses of 3 pions, this decay proceeds very slowly, about 600 times slower than the decay of K1 into 2 pions. These two different modes of decay were observed by Leon Lederman and his co-workers in 1956, establishing the existence of the two weak eigenstates states with definite lifetimes under decays via the weak force of the neutral kaons. These two weak eigenstates are called the KL K long and Ks K short. CP symmetry, which was assumed at the time, implies that Ks K1 and KL K2 Topic <inaudible> oscillation An initially pure beam of K0 will turn into its antiparticle while propagating which will turn back into the original particle and so on This is called particle oscillation on observing the weak decay into leptons, it was found that a K0 always decayed into an electron, whereas the antiparticle K0 decayed into the positron. The earlier analysis yielded a relation between the rate of electron and positron production from sources of pure K0 and its antiparticle K0. Analysis of the time dependence of this semileptonic decay showed the phenomenon of oscillation, and allowed the extraction of the mass splitting between the Ks and Kl. Since this is due to weak interactions it is very small, 10−15 times the mass of each state. Regeneration A beam of neutral kaons decays in flight so that the short-lived Ks disappears, leaving a beam of pure long-lived Kl. If this beam is shot into matter, then the K0 and its antiparticle K0 interact differently with the nuclei. The K0 undergoes quasi-elastic scattering with nucleons, whereas its antiparticle can create hyperons. Due to the different interactions of the two components, quantum coherence between the two particles is lost. The emerging beam then contains different linear superpositions of the K0 and K0. Such a superposition is a mixture of Kl and Ks. The Ks is regenerated by passing a neutral count beam through matter. Regeneration was observed by Orest Piccioni and his collaborators at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Soon thereafter, Robert Adair and his co-workers reported excess Ks regeneration, thus opening a new chapter in this history. <laughs> CP violation While trying to verify Adair's results, J. Christensen, James Cronin, Val Fitch and René Terlay of Princeton University found decays of Kl into two pions Cp equals plus one. in an experiment performed in 1964 at the alternating gradient synchrotron at the Brookhaven Laboratory. As explained in an earlier section, this required the assumed initial and final states to have different values of Cp, and hence immediately suggested Cp violation. Alternative explanations such as nonlinear quantum mechanics and a new unobserved particle were soon ruled out, leaving CP violation as the only possibility. 
Cronin and Fitch received the Nobel Prize in Physics for this discovery in 1980. It turns out that although the KL and Ks are weak eigenstates because they have definite lifetimes for decay by way of the weak force, they are not quite CP eigenstates. Instead, for small epsilon and up to normalization, KL equals K2 plus epsilon K1 and similarly for Ks. Thus occasionally the KL decays as a K1 with CP equals plus 1, and likewise the Ks can decay with CP equals minus 1. This is known as indirect CP violation, CP violation due to mixing of K0 and its antiparticle. There is also a direct CP violation effect, in which the CP violation occurs during the decay itself. Both are present, because both mixing and decay arise from the same interaction with the W boson and thus have CP violation predicted by the CKM matrix. Direct CP violation was discovered in the Kahn decays in the early 2000s by the NA48 and KTEV experiments at CERN and Fermilab. See also Hadrons, mesons, hyperons and flavor Strange quark and the quark model Parity, physics, charge conjugation, time reversal symmetry, CPT invariance and CP violation Neutrino oscillation Neutral particle oscillation Notes and references Notes References Topic Bibliography Amsler, C., et al., Particle Data Group 2008. Review of Particle Physics. Physics Letters B 667 1-1-1340. Bibcode, 2008PHLB, .667, 1A. doi, 10.1016, j.fyslave.2008.07.018. Eidelman, S., et al., Particle Data Group 2004. Review of Particle Physics. Physics Letters B 592 1, 1. Archive, Astro PH, 0406663. Bibcode, 2004PHLB, .592, 1P. doi, 10.1016, j.fyslave.2004.06.001. The Quark Model, by JJJ. Kokidi Sozi, M. S. 2008. Discrete Symmetries and CP Violation. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-929666-8. Baigai, I. I., Sonda, A. I. 2000. CP Violation. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-44349-0. Griffiths, D. J. Introduction to Elementary Particle. John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 0-471-60386-4